It's the old college try with a new twist. These brainy types are UT Biosystems Engineering students. Here they're measuring the density of switchgrass, a crop that could someday supply some of our fuel and energy. Once we compress the switchgrass, it has a rebound effect. It rebounded about three and a half inches from its initial compression. If the students can figure out a way to mash the grass down, it takes up less space when transported, making biofuel production more affordable. These students will graduate with engineering degrees, but soon UT could offer a major in what they're doing here, working with biofuels. It would be very exciting to see students coming out of UT with a biofuel major. Erin Byers is proud of her soon-to-be alma mater for thinking this way. She could very well work in this field and believes there are lots of potential jobs in this area. You could do a lot after doing a project like this. You could work with the Tennessee Biofuels Initiative. You could work with government or in research institutions. You could work on the commercial end in a plant. This program is called BioSucceed. It's grant funded and also includes classes at universities in North Carolina. Here masters and PhD students study and research the technical side of biomass production. And our graduates are about providing solutions to real world problems. And the, the lack of energy or energy resources is a real world problem. And the University of Tennessee takes the lead in providing students that are ready to assume professional careers and provide those solutions. Clint Sattler will soon earn his master's in chemical engineering. He's done quite a bit of work with switchgrass and wood biomass in his time at UT. This is raw wood before any extraction is done, so this is right off of the tree. This is after we give it our pretreatment. Here he's breaking down the wood structure to separate and expose cellulosic materials so it can be converted to ethanol. Sadler says biofuel production isn't George Jetson's stuff way off in the future. It's coming soon and students need to learn about it. This is something that is, is applicable today. It's not something that years down the road I'll have to wait to see the results of my research. This is something that you know, I can see it immediately. If a number of Tennessee farmers will soon be growing crops for biofuels, it just makes sense that we'll need experts in how to make the stuff. And when you combine talent and youthful enthusiasm with knowledge, look out world. This is Chuck Denny reporting.